I might have got a little bit carried away on the beach. <laughs> Oops, I'm not usually this bad, honest. Oh, look at this thing, it's just incredible, the layers. I just, I just couldn't resist. I don't know where that's going to live though. And look at this, perfect little spiral, it's beautiful. After leaving Voyage, I headed over to Ile d'Orient that afternoon. I hoped to get into the sea, but it was incredibly windy and intermittently rainy. The sea didn't look as inviting as it had on Ile de Ré. After a quick evening trip to the beach, I settled down for a very wet night. Reheating leftovers! Mm, yum. I have an intermittent leak at the back of the van. I can't remember if I've mentioned it before, but sometimes when it chucks it down it gets wet in one corner. Or the other, or sometimes even both. This time it was pretty wet, so when it finally stopped raining I had some drying out to do. I keep a couple of super absorbent cloths down there that soak up most of it when it leaks but sometimes the wood that supports my floor gets damp and I have to dry it out pronto. I've never figured out where it gets in because sometimes in heavy rain no water comes in and sometimes it gets damp in light rain. I've thought about replacing all the seals but they're not cheap and I don't know if it'll actually fix the issue. I've lived in a lot of leaky flats too so maybe leaks just follow me from home to home. Once the weather finally dried up I headed off to stretch my legs after a day cooped up in the van. These trees just look so fluffy to me, I want to reach out and touch them. I'm wondering whether that bit at the end is reachable. I'm going to go see. <laughs> I might skip. Is there anyone around? <laughs> I don't know if that matters. I think it's really, really difficult not to smile when skipping. So if you're ever feeling down, just try skipping along a road and then you just find yourself laughing. I mean, as an adult, I think as a kid it's normal. Oh man, I can reach it over here. <laughs> like painted little windows on. <laughs> I'm creating a shadow, but look at this. Come on the phone, you can focus. Oh wow, look at the holes in it. Oh, these ones are like stuck together. <laughs> wonder whether there was something not long dead in there. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. It's like all that's left of it. Okay, come on. I just use my nose to focus my camera. <laughs> oh yeah, I think there are still some living things in here because these are all still closed, which is really cool. And then there's just a lot of... <laughs> yeah, okay, there's some closed ones there. I don't want to disturb them. Apparently this is a squid. I hadn't seen one before and it was so colourful it didn't look real. Current census is that it's likely to be European common squid. But if anyone knows better, please let me know.
This is so unbelievably shiny, I just had to pick it up. I'm like a, a magpie. I don't know if magpies actually like shiny things. I'm a niffler. I'm a niffler and if I see shiny things I just want to tuck them in my little pouch and take them home. You never know when you might need them. It's just a load of creatures stuck together. Don't know. Ooh. Wow. Sorry guys, I'll put you back. <laughs> I left the island on a mission to get to some fishing huts down the coast in time for the sunset. I am uh, down by the water, by the sea, as you might be able to tell. I have my uh, camera with me. Uh, actually two cameras because I bought my old camera body as well and all my lenses and my tripod. and. This is just kind of awesome. I was really hoping for like an amazing sunset, but I kind of like it like this. And also it means everyone's gone. When I got down here, a couple of guys with tripods set up, a load of people with phones and things out. Obviously it looks awesome. A load of people came down to see and a, a load of thick cloud came across the bottom of the sky. So no sunset uh, or nothing amazing, but actually looks kind of cool anyway. A nice blue top bit of sky and some yellowy stuff lower down as I will probably show you if some of it comes out okay and um everyone's gone now so I'm just I'm gonna end up being here like another hour probably until I get really hungry and realize I'm not exactly sure where I'm parking tonight at which point I will leave <laughs> but right now it just it looks really cool Guys, the waves here along the coast back towards the van are absolutely stunning and there's no way you can capture them in this kind of light but just oh the way they roll and they're all white and fluffy and then that's my best way of describing it <laughs> so it is seven o'clock in the morning um <laughs> it's been a while since I've been up at this time in the morning other than if I can't sleep but I'm I'm up and uh, I've left the air I stayed in in the town last night I'm back by the sea but the sun doesn't rise for like an hour I'm kind of hoping so it's it's high tide at 7.23 and it's like 7.03 and the water is awesome again but obviously it's pretty much as dark as it was when I left last night so yeah I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to get light, you know, half an hour or so before sunrise. So I just kind of thought I'd come get set up and hopefully there'll either be a nice sunrise or at least enough light while the sea's still high enough that it will look cool. If not, I'll just sit in the van and watch it from here because it is pretty awesome. Yeah, super cool. I'm just like looking out the front of the van. My brain has only just woken up enough to register that the sunrise is going to be over that way, not where it was last night. I mean, duh. So I might have to walk around. There are some cool huts still kind of around the corner and I didn't go all the way around last night. So 
yeah I don't know but the waves next to the van are just very cool I'm just watching them for now <laughs> deciding what to do the light there is starting to get some light in the sky so I might get kitted up and head out I chuck on my canyoning boots when I'm scrambling across rocks and stuff to take photos even though it's not like super sketchy it just means I'm less likely to drop my camera and I can just jump across stuff in them because they're super grippy and I feel comfortable whereas if I wear my normal boots I'm more likely to fall and then break something usually camera kit not myself There's another set of huts just up ahead, but I'm not entirely sure if I can get to them without uh, getting splashed because when the waves come up, they seem to hit quite far up. <laughs> but it kind of looks like fun. Tempting to try. I feel tired now and it's only like <laughs> 10 to 10 but um cowboy time but I think that was worth getting up early for um I now have uh, a full memory card that I maybe need to pull some stuff off it's a very big memory card and I think it's just that I pulled stuff off it and didn't delete it because I quite like to have backups and all my um external hard drives are kind of full um I need to start deleting some old footage which I find really hard to do it also just takes hours and hours sifting through footage when you take too much and don't always sort it all out as you go even if you do sort it out as you go it takes hours but then if you've got a backlog yeah anyway worth getting up early for this morning I'm now gonna eat some food have a drink and uh try and pull some stuff off memory cards because I actually had to switch whilst taking photos because I was down to 15 photos left on my 128 gig memory card and trying to get waves coming up between two of the huts and just thought god I'm gonna miss it and then obviously kept missing the really perfect waves because I kept yeah so we'll see if I get one good one out of that I'll be really happy maybe two would be good <laughs> that's asking too much I've got bread I've got hummus and I've got a load of files to sort through ah I also got quite chilly out there. Um, I had quite a few layers on, but apparently not enough. And um, I've noticed because like, my little fingers feel a bit funny. They got a bit too cold. I had mittens on, but obviously you kind of want your fingers available when you're taking photos. It's a faff to do it with gloves on. I've never mastered it. Um, and my legs could have done with another layer. Like I had this jacket on and a wind rain whatever proof jacket on. But yeah chilly 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 but the sun is coming in through the front of the van so hopefully that'll warm me up a little bit i think that was probably worth getting a little bit chilly this morning quite happy with that maybe that too i kind of liked i wanted the wave in the middle i like that i was just putting this video together and i often edit in sections of like different days or places just to make it a bit easier to manage and also if I get a bit restless and stuck on one section I can move on to a different section and then add them all together at the end. So I started adding a couple of sections together and went I'm already at like 15 minutes and it's actually about half of what was supposed to go into the whole video. So I've decided to cut it here and do a bonus video this weekend if I get both finished and just put that one out when it's done. I missed last week so you get a bonus video this week. I apparently just had a very busy week the week that I was filming for this. I usually do about a week into a video um, and yeah there were just lots of cool things and I don't want to cut any of the amazing stuff out so 
I'm going to make it into two. Once the second video is up, I'll pop a link at the end of this one to go to that one. And if you're here before that video is up, then subscribe and you'll get a little notification. Thanks for watching, guys.